M0FXB, welcome to my channel. On the right we have the SCU LAN 10 and on the left we have the SDR UNO running the Duo device. And now both of these systems are excellent. On the right it's connected to my FT Yesu 101 DX but you can connect it to the DX10 and the DX, uh, sorry the FT710. Uh, very straightforward process there, a couple of videos out there showing you how to set this up. So at the moment you can hear the, let's just turn it down here, you can hear that was the SCU-10 uh, and let's turn up the UNO, just click here. Sounding good now, I just need to mess around with the, the sound settings and items that I've selected here on the SCU-10 because it's not sounding as good as it normally does. I've selected something wrong, but otherwise you've got full control of the radio, dual band, you've got screen controls here, multi-view as well, you select multi-view, like so. Everything you can think of is here, changing the frequency, the bands, the filters, just, just PTT, everything. If you go over to the UNO software, which is here, the, the, the clever thing about this software is you can break it up into these little boxes and you can move them around. Of course, it will take up the whole screen if you want it to, and I just shrunk everything down so it would all fit for this video. But it's a fantastic system, and, good, and listen to how good it sounds. And the good thing about the UNO is you can run two instances at the same time, so you, you can be listening to VHF, UHF on one instance of the UNO and then HF and it's as good as the antenna and you know changing the frequency just scroll or click the actual click the actual waterfall So I really recommend these systems. I have made a video running the UNO in dual mode, so check that one out. But otherwise, the the land box was about £280, I think, but I think worth every penny. I mean, look what you get. And I'm today going to play around working out how to remotely connect to this from my friend who's in Cheddar. And I'm going to see if he can actually log into my radio from Cheddar and we will be showing you all the settings that's required for that. You can look at my current settings just by going file and a setup here, connection setup and there's my current setting. So it's a local IP address so that's all the items that are linked in my home and then you've got some ports here which I'm about to open up on my broadband router. Just notice an audio selection there. Remember I said the audio isn't sounding as good as it could do. So let's just, uh, I just saw that there. I've had this software for a day and I can see that the main is turned right down. And the sub. Still not sounding as good as it should, so maybe I need to, maybe let's try the amplifier, uh, which at the moment is off. The, no, it's not letting me do it while that's there. Amp 1 is on now. Could just be the speaker settings on this PC. You decide, you know, where the audio is going to come out from. But otherwise, having fun, links in the description for SDR Uno and SCU LAN 10. All the ham radio sellers, it, shops sell all of these items. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.